Hello viewer hope everyone is well. Today I sat down to make a video after a long time because the body and time were a bit inconsistent at work, then I thought that since I haven't made a video for a long time, maybe I will feel better if I make a video. So I came to share with you today with Zoneminder. Many of you may have heard the name of this application, many may use it, even so, I thought I'd share something with you today on my own. Zoneminder through this we can do the work of CCTV or security system. It is a very important thing nowadays due to security reasons, mostly we need it for office court and residential home security systems. After crime has been committed, it is the first thing to look at who is involved in the crime and how it is involved, and it is one of the most important things to identify. So if you have an old computer or if you have a home lab then you can easily install it in your home lab. Today I will show you how to install it in my home lab. If we take a look, we will see that Zoneminder is an open source software, it is easy to install on Linux and FreeBSD. So viewer let's take a look at a demo version of the software, if you go to Google and search for Zoneminder demo, you will get it. Zoneminder the software looks like this, here you can see a camera running, and the camera is on top of a 3D printer, where 3D printers show how to print. Today I will install Zoneminder in my home lab, that's why I'm using Proxmox VMware. You must first download the container template from here, I downloaded the container template here earlier. So let's now set up Zoneminder by creating a container. Here you name your container, and you need to create a root password for the container. From here you need to specify the location of your template. Since the software will work as a CC camera, it will require a large amount of hard disks, so in this case you need to select more space in this area, since I'm making the video for the tutorial, I'm making the video here with little space, in your case of course you will make it with a little bigger space, you can add extra hard disks here later if you want. Since I'm making a tutorial, I'll build things here with little configuration. Since you will be using it at the professional level, you will use a bit more configuration here. I use a static routing router, so I can set any IP I want here. If you are using dynamic routing then enter an IP here and reserve that IP from your router. So far we have finished working on a system configuration, here our installed template will be extracted and then ready for installation, in that case it may take some time here. After the container is installed successfully, reboot once after it is created.
Log in here with the root password you created while creating the container. In that case the login user it will be root and the password will be the one you created yourself. Here you need to set your admin password. In this case you must create an 8 digit password. Our installation work is almost over from here and now the main work of installation will start here. In that case it will take some time. So now let us log in the whole system and see how it works after installation. Hopefully by now you have seen and understood how to install your zone minder. Viewer, if our video is of any use to you, please support us by subscribing to the channel. Viewer, if you have any comments about this video, please let us know in the comment box.